My Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Maria Yeshua Ben Uriah Israel, and we want to take this moment to say thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments. Most of all, I do thank you for your prayers. I, I want to, to, to say good news. Good news, my brothers and sisters. We are 1,108 subscriptions and moving on. So we're going to ask you that you will encourage your friends, your loved ones to participate, to like and to subscribe to this channel, The Journey Back to Abaya. If you notice, my cap has The Journey Back to Abaya in Hebrew. Okay, and so we just want to continue to thank him. We finished um, Psalm 14, which was dealing with the sinfulness of men, and we started um, Psalm 15, dealing with true worshipers. And so we are, um, we have done one session on this and it's uploading. Um, I don't know what caused it not to have upload last night, but you know, like I said, you know, I don't control YouTube, and so you know, we put it on, and it's supposed to be loading. It's loading slowly, and it could have been from you know my internet system also. So I'm not gonna give it all the blame on YouTube. <laughs> you know, it could be you know, I know like last Shabbat. So many issues that took place, I thought it was, um, you know, YouTube was real because of the, the nature of, of the um, subject that we were dealing with, you know, last two weeks ago, we were dealing with Judaism and last week, you know, we were dealing with Christianity. And, um, and so we, you know, we, we expect to have some, you know, some problem because we're talking to, about two are the major religions, you know, and the flaws, and especially when you, you point out the flaws within these, these religions. So we're going to ask you to join us this Shabbat coming because we're going to be dealing with Islam, okay? And, and, and uh, the following, we hope that we, we can do spirituality, which is considered the seventh great um, uh, major religion of the world, okay? Then we can splinter up into some other, you know, leather cults, we're gonna be talking to some, about some of that because our people need to get the information and need to know exactly, you know, how to deal with, with um, you know, these different issues that come about, okay? So please bear with us, you know, and, and, and we are going to, you know, share with you and okay so, so last week i mean uh, i mean the last session rather we um we dealt with psalm um 15 and verse 1 and it talks about yahuwah who shall abide in thy tabernacle and who shall dwell in thy holy hill and in, in verse 2 now we are seeing the answer to that verse, okay? And the answer to the verse is that he that walketh uprightly, that's verse 2, Psalm 15, verse 2. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Okay? So, the first question asked, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in thy holy hill? And so, my brothers, we know that Yahuwah is holy, and those who follow him must be holy. If we're going to be a part of his kingdom, we're a part of, of you know, his family, praise be to Yahuwah. He makes us his people, and because we are his people, we are to show the world, show the Gentiles, be a light to the Gentiles, walk in righteousness, pattern the way of Yahushua, 
so that the, 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 the Gentiles, those people in darkness, can see the light and come you know, to glorify our Heavenly Father. So in, in, in verse 2 now, we see where we say, He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh truth in his heart. Now we have gone over the, the, the word, um, we talk about some, um, some key words, right? And we have done righteousness. We, we talk about righteousness. And we, I, I, I'm just going to go over again, if you're just coming on, you know, coming in for the first time, just viewing it. You know, um, you see that he that walketh right, uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Um, we, we say righteousness, the word righteousness, and this is just a revision. I mean, I mean uh, just re emphasizing it. Righteousness here is sedek, sedek, justice, rightness, righteousness. What is um, right, uh, just, normal, rightness, justness, I like of a just weight, or just measure. Um, we talk about righteousness um, in, in government, we talk about of judges, of rulers, of kings, of the law, you know, and we, and we mentioned about the Davidic um, messianic um, rule um, of, of, of righteousness of Jerusalem as a seat of the just government. Um, I'm not talking about the government there now, okay, because I haven't seen any justness in that. Um, you know, the righteousness of Yahuwah's attribute is, is, is one of his attributes. Righteousness, justice, and you know, in case our causes. And we talk about rightness in speech, you know, ethical light, eth eth you know, ethical right, righteousness as vindicated, you know, that righteousness is in justification. In, Controversy, deliverance, victory, prosperity. Of Yahuwah as covenant keeping in redemption, um, in, 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 in the name of the Messianic King. Praise his holy name in the name of Yahushua. Of people enjoying salvation and deliverance, you know. Um, uh, and, and when we think about, uh, if, if you go back to to um, oh, the, the Babylonian captivity. And you remember how Persia took over, right? And you remember how he sent the, 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 our ancestors back to, to, um, to Jerusalem to, to rebuild the wall and so on. And uh, like, you know, we talk about Cyrus, you know, like the Persian ruler, right? And we gotta talk about how righteous he was in, 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 in some cases. And in, in, in making the right judgment when um, you know Haman tried to kill Mordecai and and, 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 and and the different Hebrew Israelite people that were settling in um, in that region, even though they have started a religion that you know was against what Yahuwah wants, but you know at least they were calling upon Yahuwah. Okay, right? and then so in in, in verse. Um, true, we talk about the word true, that's we get true in his heart, okay? Um, the, the word truth here is is a Hebrew word, um, amen, 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 amen. And um, it, 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 it's, it's Aleph, Mem, and Tav. And uh, this word has to do with, you know, we talk about truth here. It has to do with firmness, okay? Firmness. You know, when you say something, you know, it's firm. You, you speak a word of truth. It's firm. You know, we talk about faithfulness here. We talk about truth. Sureness. Like when, when Yahushua was on, on earth in this earthly ministry, one of the words he used regularly was verily, verily. That word means truly, truly, in, in other words. 
you can take that word and run with it, my, my, my brothers and sisters, because it's a firm word. It's, you know, today people say something and you have to wonder in the back of the mind and say, is it, are they telling me the truth? If you want to hear some lies, you deal with the politicians because they tell you stuff. You know, I am, um, I heard of a story once where a politician said him, um, he was having a, you know, political meeting running for election and he said, okay, I'm going to build you a good road, everybody get up and cheer. I'm going to build you a bridge. And the people said, there's no water running on the road. <laughs> You know, where the bridge, where the bridge going, you know? You know, you say, well, the bridge will lead you to wherever you want to go, you know? Then, you know, people are not truthful in the, in the world, but they say a lot of stuff, you know, and then that they know they, they can. But my brother, my sister, never said this about politics. I mean, you have to be careful of what people say because one man make a promise does not necessarily mean you're going to come through, okay? Because it takes the whole Congress or the whole House or the Parliament or whatever, whatever country to make that decision, okay? All right. So don't don't take people's word for it. All right? Um, when we talk about truth here, we're talking about like sureness. We talk about reliability. We talk about stability. We talk about, you know, continuance. Faithfulness, something reliableness. We talk about truth, my brothers and sisters. Um, truth as spoken, of testimony and judgment, of divine instruction, my brothers and sisters. Truth as a body of ethical or sometimes we say religious knowledge. Okay? Truth or doctrine is a true doctrine, something that you know is firm, okay? And in truth, something that's truly. And then he said, he that speaks the truth in his heart. Okay, that's the person who, this is the answer to, to verse 1 of um, Psalm 15. As we talk about, you know, true worshipers. Who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He said, but those who have, you know, who work on righteousness in the heart. Okay, righteousness and those who speak the truth and those you know so, so, and all of this is, is done to the, in the heart lay lay bab lay bab is a word for, for, um, for heart here lay bab and it is it is um uh, basically um lamed bet and bet lay bab and of course you know it has the um the 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 Bowel markations. Le Bab. It's, it's like you're saying L E B A B. If you were to spell it in English, but which is, you know, there's no there, there's no comparison basically, but this is what, you know if, if you were going to try to say it in, in, the, in, in the English form. Okay, it's, it's so you know, we have um Le Bab. And, and when we talk about the heart here, we talk about the, the, the inner man or the mind or the will or the heart or the soul or the understanding, the inner part of a person, the, 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 like the midst, you know, um, talk about uh, the midst of things, uh, the, the heart of a man, the soul, the heart of a man, okay? And, uh, and, and they say, then you can go further by saying, you know, we talk about the heart, we talk about the mind, the knowledge, the thinking, or the reflection, or memory, or, or the inclination, or the resolution, or the determination, conscience, the heart of moral character. You know, that person you have a good heart. You know, you can be saying that you have a good character. Uh, you know, it, 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 it is as a seat of the appetites. Are the seat of emotion, or you know, um, and passions, as a seat of courage. Praise His holy name. Praise His name. And then in um, in verse three, he, he said, 
he that we continue to answer the question in, from verse one. He that backbiteth not is one of the answer with his talk, nor doeth evil to his neighbors, nor taketh a reproach against his neighbor. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six keywords that we want to look at here. Okay, and the first one we're going to look at is backbited. The word backbited. Ragal is, is from a primitive root and is 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 um is is resh gimel and lamed. Resh gimet. Um, gimel. Resh. Gimel and Lamet. And these three Hebrew consonants, my brothers and sisters, Raga, it is it's to go on foot or spy out, foot it, go about, walk along, move the feet, to be a tail bearer, a slanderer. Uh, to go about, you know, in a pain. Um, you, you see, a lot of a lot of time, people don't understand and don't realize how dangerous, you know, the word backbiting is. But but you know, to to slander, to go about as explorer and you know, going spying, to teach or to walk. It's a primitive route to walk along, but not only in a specific application, but you know, to recognize, reconnoitre is, is, is to, to be a tail bearer. Uh, you know, that is to be a slander, first who slander people. Go, you know, also um, to lead about, uh, to backbite. How to search, search, how to study, how to spy, how to teach, how to go, how to view, you know. And um, and, the, and the next verse is um, do it. Look at the word do it. Do it in the, in verse three it is the word ah uh, saw so, ah uh, saw, so. and is to do. I like I do fashion or to accomplish or to make, to do work, to make, to produce, you know, to do work, to deal with, to act, uh, to act with effect. Um, and I, I went a little further looking at this word, do it, because it is, it, you, you can make something. You can produce something, you can prepare something, you can make an offering, you can attend to, uh, put in order. When you do, you can observe, or you can celebrate, or you can, you know, acquire, uh, you know, like you're acquiring property. Uh, you can appoint or ordain. Uh, it's, 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 you can say, it's an institute to do, uh, to bring about, or uh, to use. Uh, to spend, uh, to pass. Um, you can continue to say, something to be done, something to be made, something to be produced, something to be offered, something to be observed, something to be used, to be made, something to press, or uh, to squeeze. And then the word evil here. Is that that doing that? Evil, evil, evil. Okay, the bad, evil is raw, raw. There's two letters, two letters that make up this word, raw. It is, it's, it's a rash and an A. Um, and um, this is, you know, really bad, evil, bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad, unpleasant, evil giving pain unhappiness, misery. Because when a person do evil to you, it can cause you unhappiness, it can cause you misery. Displeasing, evil is displeasing, my brothers and sisters. Evil is displeasing. Evil is, is, um, is bad of its kind. 
is like a land, bad land, bad water, etc. Bad, bad of value, you know. Um, worse than, worse than a comparison can compare something sad, unhappy, evil. When person is, is evil, they're hurtful, you know, to others. Um, and what they do to you, bad and kind, vicious, you know, in this position. Bad, evil, wicked, ethically wicked. In general, uh, of a person, of thoughts, uh, of deeds, of action. It's really talk about evil here and stuff. Evil can cause distress, misery, like I said before, injury, calamity. Evil, distress, adversity, my brothers and sisters. Evil, injury, wrong, evil, ethical evil. Evil is ethical. Ethically, they can do evil to you. Misery, distress, injury, evil, misery, distress. I can't overemphasize it, my brothers and sisters. Evil, you know, it, you know, evil, evil is uh, unethical. Okay, and you talk about to his neighbors. Um, Twenty minutes is gone, but I'm just going to finish this verse. Okay, to his neighbors, um, friend. Uh, you know, comparison, a companion, a fellow, another person, you know, you know, we talk about the neighbor here, fellow citizen, he that did an evil to his neighbor, you know, um, and the word raw, uh, uh, you know, and, and this word here is, um, Resh and alien. And um, my brother must, must say it, it, it's, it's, it's such wickedness when a person do evil, evil. And the, the evil here, the neighbor here, is more or less, you know, close. Somebody close, a brother, it could be a companion, it could be a fellow, it could be a friend, um, a husband, a lover, neighbor. Or others, okay. All right. Look at the next word. Um, take it. That take it. Okay. Look at the word in, in verse three. That said take it. And it's no saw, no saw. Um, you know, and um, no saw. And um, the word here is. Um, Nun, Shin, and Aleph. Nun, Shin, and Aleph. Sin, not Shin, but Sin, and Aleph. And um, as another word, no, 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 you know, to lift or to bear up or to carry or to take. Um, you know, the word take it here, and to lift, to lift up, or to bear, to carry, to support, or to sustain. Uh, you know, you know, and um, to endure, to take away, to carry out, and um, to be lifted up, to be exalted, or uh, to lift oneself up, to rise up, or uh, to born, or uh, to be born, rather to be carried, to take away, to be carried off, be swept away, okay? And um, to lift up, exalt, to support, to aid, to assist, to desire, uh, long uh, to carry beer continuously to take away to lift oneself up exalt oneself to cause or to bear iniquity to call or to bring or to have brought okay and then he talks about the reproach okay and the, the 20 minutes is gone my brother but i'm just want to finish this to give you continuance so you have one one flow of, of thing, okay? So so it's um 
the next word a reproach against his neighbor right so he talk about um uh, the re 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 reproach here is the Hebrew word um, kev, kerpa, kerpa, and it is it is um, um, pe and he with the um, with the Vowels, you know, um, added to it. The, the voice marking. It's a reproach here. Scorn, taunt, scorn upon enemy. Reproach resting upon condition of shame, disgrace. A reproach, an object. Uh, it, it is. It is. Contempt. It is disgrace. It is someone reproaching someone, scorn, shame, someone taunting someone, my brothers and sisters. Praise his name. We're going to stop here. And um, so at least we have, I've gone over um, six minutes so to over the time. And I promise you that I'm going to stay in the 20 minutes range. But I want you to have it, you know, continuing. Um, you know, just you can have it. everything right in front of you there. You can see the, the flow continuous flow. That's what I'm trying to say here. Okay, we're going to ask you, my brothers and sisters, to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the king. Praise his name. Shalom.